All right, you guys, so in this video, what I wanted to show you is the new Faro Flatness Check app that works on an iPad. Unfortunately, only iPad so far, but maybe eventually it'll work on something else too. But all you need to do is, prerequisite is, have the app downloaded, have your scanner connected. So I have it connected via the access point connection. I'll create a project, I'll call this Flatness. go create and the cool thing is you can start a scan right from this app here so this uh, blue icon the second one on the right here I'll just hit that it'll uh, make sure or obviously if you read the ins uh, instructions that you're at kind of level just using the built-in inclinometer but who I am on a tripod I'll just hit continue and what it does is it fires up the scanner itself without you changing any settings. So these are all preset uh, configurations. There's nothing you can do about these. You can't make it higher or lower resolution. It is what it is, doesn't take any pictures. Records enough information in about a minute and a half uh, to do, I guess, uh, a flatness analysis from its perspective. Maximum number of scans for this app is three. So you can do the analysis with one, two, or three scans. We'll just do three for the exercise over here. Mm, there's no need for any software uh, beyond uh, the app running on the iPad. And this should work with the S series, M series, and the premium series, series scanners. I don't think it works you know, with any of the previous generation, meaning X or, or just the focus scanners. So we'll wait for the scan to be finished and we'll just uh, pick it up and move it to a new location. All right, the scan seems to be finished. It's now making its way to the iPad itself. The iPad will then uh, analyze the incoming data, which is, again, not that much because it's not a very high-resolution scan, but it's enough for it to generate a nice uh, analysis of the floor plan. You see uh, the program analyzes the top of the scan data and actually cuts it off for you already. There's nothing you can do about this again, but I'll do another scan because we have this big gaping hole in our um, floor here. So I reposition the scan towards the back of the building where the tripod is visible and I'll just hit another scan. Just hit continue and go. All right, here we go. Scan number two is finished. The, 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 the app actually does a little bit of a registration or uh, not really a little bit, just a regular registration between the actual scans and gives you an idea of um, how successful it is. Of course, this is a very small um, room, so it's not an issue, but it says the registration is perfect. We'll hit continue. Uh, we shouldn't have a gaping hole in the area where, where we had the scanner before. Looks like it's closed up and we'll do one more scan here uh, just to, you know, completely saturate the data from the perspective of the scanner and the analysis. So we'll just hit start and once again, do the last scan here. All right, there we go. That's the last scan. You will see that the interface will actually warn you saying there's no more scans available for this project. <clears throat> so registering we'll say confirm that's it the scan limit has been reached we'll just continue so we have three scans that were taken in that small area here in the front of the actual room so next step we can go ahead and actually press the bottom right button over here that says analyze so let me hit that uh, obviously, I don't need to be connected to the scanner anymore, but I'm okay. I'll leave it connection connected. So uh, now it's asking for a reference plane. My reference plane is oh, in the back here, so I'll just pick that. If you want to offset this this a little bit, you can actually go up or down with it. I don't want to. I am happy with it being perfectly in line with that uh, floor there. We'll hit next. All right now. Uh, it's asking, so uh, what is the 
area of interest. So we'll kind of pick uh, this area here. We'll click and pick here. And we'll include the tripod, for example, I don't know. And we'll do this and we'll go down the aisle a little bit, maybe. Let's go here. If you make a mistake, you can just hit the bottom light, left button over here, undo, and just make another selection. So, I mean, it's fairly simple. Hit next. We will do the, make the tolerance a little tighter. One tenth of an inch here, maximum search distance, we'll leave it be. Um, instead of a pass fail, I'll do a green, red, um, blue, green, red, rainbow. There we go. <coughs> All right, rainbow. Let's just hit next. And what it does is it generates this, this outline for you. High points, low points, of course. And this is within itself pretty interesting. But the really cool thing is at the bottom over here, you have the AR view. So what I'll do is the AR view, it's asking for an alignment. And typically with a two-point alignment, what I'll do is uh, we'll hit the continue at the bottom here. We'll get to the same point where I was already standing. There's a little bit of a fridge in the back of the room here. So what I'll do is I'll pick the corner of it. Maybe there, hit next, and we'll pick the same corner here. Next, and then we'll turn around and maybe pick something in the other opposite direction here. Maybe a table leg here. We'll go in this direction, next. And we'll kind of do that there too. There we go. So this is what's cool now. This is an overlay of where that area that we scanned is with its uh, high and low points in this little, uh, what is it, walkway in between the actual tables. And you can see that this is relatively cool to actually view. Once you apply it, just like I did at the bottom, you can actually pick and you will see that these points, and you can't tell when my finger is pressing, but anywhere in the map you can see that it'll show you that you're below grade, above grade, below grade, perfectly high or low. Uh, and just uh, getting an idea of uh, what it kind of looks like in the real world here. So um, not a bad, quick way of analyzing uh, something for its flatness and visualizing in the field too. All right, uh, hopefully this was a useful video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.